You gotta stay firm. You just go. I'm not very good at it. My arms are long. I, look at how long my arms are. Look at this. Oh my gosh, please. You're long. Knuckle, arms. knuckle draggers. Yeah. Ah. Welcome to another episode of Check Out the Workout. Today we're here at the beautiful Brooklyn Bridge Park with our instructor Petra Claiborne for a class called Pio. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having me. So what is Pio? So it's a combination of Pilates and yoga, but it's also to the rhythm of the music. So it's much more than that. And it's a high intensity, low impact class. We like high intensity. Yep. <laughs> well, we're gonna. So uh, I've, I've never heard of Pio. It was my first time. I'm excited. But tell us, how did you get into it? How did Petra get into Pio? Tell us your story. So I was teaching already at the Y, um, different formats, and they got the opportunity to get the certification. They chose me as the instructor, and I got certified. What's your favorite part about Pio? The intensity, yeah. It challenges me. Um, I love rhythm, so it's almost like dancing to core moves and yoga moves. Um, and But they're all also different modifications, so people should not be discouraged to come to class even if, they're, even if it's high intensity. So Petra, can you tell us, what is the background of Pio? How did they get started? So it was created in California in, I think, 2010, and it's by the company Beachbody. And Beachbody is also behind Insanity and P90X. And these are all uh, formats that they started online for people to try during 40 days, and then they see the transformation. So it's really for people who want to lose weight and see results. And uh, so now, because of the demand, they wanted to get it into the classrooms, into the gyms. So now you can teach. We have Insanity also at the Y, so we teach Pio and Insanity all this together with a group. Do you think it's a, there's a difference between taking a class at home and also taking a class? Very much so. So I think um, you are more encouraged maybe to go to class because you pay for the gym, you pay, pay for the class, you're going to have other people around you, you do it together, rather than putting a DVD into the, your own TV and doing it in your living room. Uh, you will see the results, but I think it's more fun to do it with other people who are like-minded. Sure, feed off each other's energy. Yeah. Nice, well, we're ready to check it out. Let's, Let's check it. out the workout. We're going to start with heat building. So we're, we're going to build more heat up in the body. There's going to be lots of different sun salutations. Inhale, exhale, forward fold, half lift, and release. Step or jump back, upper plank, to chaturanga, up dog, and press to down dog. Stay here. Pedal through. Yeah. Ab crunch, you engage the core, and you stretch the core. You engage the core and you stretch it. Now let's do it faster. Down and up. So let's move into lower body. And here we go. We reach down, cross the arms. So when you go down, you cross, uh, you try and reach towards your ankles and then you cross the arms. Yeah, down and up. And now we go down, take the left leg back. Down, take the one leg And then up. Yep, two, one. Now we're gonna do the matrix. Upper plank, right hand tapping, upper plank, right hand tapping, right arm up, side plank, pio, pi, uh, pike, so you pike it under, side plank, right arm up, pike it under, right foot forward, low lunge, reverse it, atlas, side stretch, back to reverse, low lunge, and atlas, side stretch, high lunge, big step back, stay low, into flight, and high lunge, into flight. So I definitely felt the burn in that one track where we're doing the, uh, the pike, oh, yes. doing the uh, tricep push-ups, uh, doing the atlas. So uh, like we talked about earlier, it's like people want to get fitter faster. Mm -hmm. And I definitely felt it in that one track, in, what, like three minutes or something like that. I think it's because you're working in several planes of motion simultaneously. And a lot of workouts, it's like just a, this plane or just this plane or just this plane it was everything at once, which actually replicates real life. You don't just walk down the sidewalk and then not have to worry about, you know, something on the ground or someone you're passing by. You have to actually move through space in this way that's fluid. And that workout, that small track showed you 
in a more intense way. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I, I tell that to, to people who I teach. I tell that to my patients. I say, um, your body's 360 degrees. Mm -hmm. It's not just one direction. So I think, and even the fitness industry now is realizing that you have to uh, use as many muscles as possible and stretch out as many joints as possible that you'll get the most burn or you'll oh, yeah. get the most functionality too. Mm -hmm. It's also a great way for folks to understand what their core does. I think people think core and they think six pack abs, but core is not right. just your abdominals, it's also your lower back. And it's being able to hold things in an isometric phase so your muscles are being held the same length while moving through space. So that was a cool thing too. It's not just a simple plank, it's a plank and then a rotation. It's a plank and then a change of direction. And I think that's something that folks don't do normally. And I think this workout, Paya, was a great way to see it real time. Then you've got the music, so you're into it, you're sweating, you're moving, you're feeling strength building, you're feeling stability, and it's all those worlds combined. Yeah, and to piggyback on that, uh, think of coordination as well, like the Atlas. I'm not coordinated. The Atlas move? I know we both <laughs> lost our balance we were doing this. I call the Michael Jackson move, but I like that. Uh, doing the Atlas move, I realized that it, I had to kind of think for a second, and mm -hmm. a lot of workouts, we don't really cross our legs, mm -hmm. right? Right. Um, so I think that's that's pretty important concept that they seem to incorporate crossing, like you said, crossing the planes, having coordination, mm -hmm. going from one position to a, a one that's completely the opposite plane. Right. So and I, then from moving to being static. So we had to move and it can be completely static on a dime, which is crazy control, which you wouldn't think about. That's just like maybe you're walking out into traffic and stopping as a cab yeah. goes through. So great workout and for anyone too she she mentioned modifications in the tricep push-ups you know come off your knees for tricep push-ups or don't go as deep or go slower or faster to increase or decrease difficulty so this class is for everyone um, I think you're gonna really enjoy the music and she had great energy I right. recommend it to anyone exactly what's a what's a, one or two tips you would give to someone who's first time going to this class first tip would be be patient with yourself although the moves happen very rapidly maybe you watch the instructor first while you slowly go through them and then you'll build your confidence and then you can build up your speed. But don't always try to match her speed and intensity at first because you will definitely, as we saw, <laughs> quite quite, uh, quite quickly, yeah. you will not get the moves quickly. <laughs> but once you see her move, she does it two times, and the phases get quicker, you will definitely get more comfortable. So, exactly. and you? Um, I, I have to agree. And I would say um, that uh, pay attention to what your body can or can't do. Mm -hmm. So definitely take her advice and modify. A lot of times in these classes, when there's a big group of people, um, you want to keep up with everybody. Mm -hmm. That's not the case. Like wait, okay. be patient. You'll get there. You challenge yourself, um, but but listen to her modifications and also ask about what modifications to do. Sure. Okay. Always ask your instructor. You and me and all that wine. Losing my tie, lie down, let's fly. Every guy that passes by, look at her, look at her. So you're ready to check out the next workout? What's it gonna be? I don't know, but let's check All it right. out. Let's check out the next workout. So burpees, we go down, legs back, legs up, and down, legs back, reach forward, and then there's variations. So you open the feet, jump back, then you do the ski jumps. Ski to the right, back, 